Hey kids, do you like Jim Pokemon? Yeah! Then you're gonna love Pal World. Check it. So Pal World has been out for about two months now, and I sank a decent amount of time on it. I enjoyed my time, but the experience was definitely not perfect, which is fine. It's early access. It's a relatively small company, and while editing this video, they've already fixed a lot of the bugs I was going to complain about. The story of Pal World is pretty dark. Basically, every human is evil to some extent and can't seem to help themselves but abuse pals in one way or another. Even the so-called pal help or people, I forget what they're called, are not actually the good guys. Their leader means well, but is so naive that she's actually doing more harm than good and just ends up creating another corrupt organization. Your character might be the least evil person in the game, and you can do shit like this. This is a game where the developers were like, I like these bunch of games. Let's just shove them all into this one game. Fuck it. The Sheikah Slate, the Glider, the music tones are all extremely reminiscent of the new Zelda games. I heard the gameplay is a lot like Ark, but I only played like an hour of that game. <clears throat> now I played Pokemon Blue back in the day and I absolutely loved it, but I wouldn't call myself a Pokemon fan, so I don't have any emotional attachments and I don't care that much that the pals look very much like Pokemon. Some of the similarities are pretty hilarious though, which might be why the design of the pals are pretty cool. Like this monkey with a weed leaf on his head. I enjoyed testing out the pal abilities. I don't really know what else to say other than some of the abilities are really cool. It's fun. It's cool. I know people call this Pokemon with guns, but don't get too excited for actually shooting them. You don't actually get to use one until level 21, and you just get this musket that takes forever to load. Packs a decent punch, though. Then you get the makeshift handgun at 25, you get the real handgun at 29, the single shot rifle at 36, which by the way, this does not look like this. Has the same icon as the assault rifle, which is false advertising. You get the double barreled shotgun at 39, and then the pump action at 42, which again, both share the same icon. Then finally, Finally, you get the assault rifle at 45, but that's only five levels away from max. But once you do get the assault rifle, ho 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 ho. Building a base is fun, but before some of the recent patches, my pals would just constantly get stuck and I ended up building a giant flat base with everything spread out and as easily accessible as possible. This problem used to be a lot worse and pals would glitch into the wall, launch into the air, and then die from fall damage. Really glad that doesn't happen anymore. According to their roadmap, they are planning on allowing player transfers soon, so you'll be able to bring in your character to other servers and it needs to happen soon. It's a bit of a bummer having to have a whole new character just to play with a friend. Around level 30, I did feel the grind and then at level 40 it really felt like I couldn't do much other than just catch pals over and over again until I could finally level up. Luckily the server settings can always be changed so just crank up that exp rate if you feel like you're losing interest. It's okay I won't tell anyone. Here's a few tips I learned while I was playing. Pals not doing what you want? Just leave. Stuff will be crafted quicker and you don't need to worry about pals getting stuck. Put on a few too many pounds they can't get anywhere? Use the grapple gun to swing to wherever you need to go. If you have more than one, they don't share a cooldown so you can actually get around pretty quickly if you have two or three equipped. Sometimes they don't feel like working though, but if you move them around in your inventory, it should work again. Build a base just for ore. It's crazy how much ore you will need. The muds used to be my go-to miners because the dig toys were kind of shit, but recently they've been patched and now they tear through deposits like butter. They still eat like crazy though. Some base locations make it impossible to get raided. My crafting base never gets attacked while my base a few meters away gets raided all the time. The raids actually spawn in my crafting base to get to my farm, which is kind of funny. Pals will walk food right past your refrigerator and place it in the feed box. The greedy bastards. But if you fill the empty spaces with honey, they will store the food in the fridge and the honey will never expire. I learned this recently and wish I knew this a long time ago. I really did enjoy my time playing Pal World. Even though it takes a lot of elements from other games, it still somehow feels fresh and I look forward to future updates, especially things like raids and PvP. Now let's talk about all the little nitpicks I have with the game. Thanks to the recent patches, this list has been greatly reduced. Gates need to be fixed. These pals are dicks. Dungeons feel repetitive. As I mentioned before, the hook shot needs to be fixed. Pals don't evolve, which might not be an issue, but I was kind of bummed about it. These pals are dicks. The game needs a mini map. I open the map very often and you have to wait a second for your arrow to point in the right direction. And these pals are dicks. All that being said, I think Pal World has a solid base to build on. As long as they keep working on improvements and additions, I think the game could go very far. Let's hope so.